IoT-based war robot. Abstract This paper explains the latest approach of the current technologies in the field of robot, for military surveillance, using the concept of Internet of Things. Replacing humans in the places of combat or warfare, this robot detects the presence of humans, unusual objects, temperature, and the presence of metals pieces in the field. The latest Internet of Things smart technology helps all connected devices to update themselves according to the changes in the surroundings and to be able to adapt in any environment, we can visualize the conditions of the field accurately. The movement of the robot can be controlled both manually and automated control. Keywords Internet of Thing, Sensors, RF Arm LPC 2148 Introduction a robot is nothing but an automatic electronic device that is capable of performing programmed activities, thus replacing human work, providing highly accurate results and easily overcoming the limitations of human beings. In this project, we mainly focus on surveillance of war fields or places with no human reach. In India, most of the cost slash income is invested in military forces as there are many border threats in places like Kashmir, Ladakh, and terrorism threats in places like Mumbai. It is a human threat to investigate these places during these havoc. The military uses Dockshire military recently in combat fields. One of the main advantage of this robot is it helps to keep the place under control by providing all-time surveillance and also also overcomes the drawback of limited frequency range by using the concept of Internet of Things for receiving the data from the bot and also to control the movement of the bot also the second advantage being that the robot can be used in automatic mode where the bot changes its direction when an obstacle is detected in front of it with the help of ultrasonic sensors. The night vision camera provides the live streaming of the metal detector sensor placed under the robot. It also sends the exact location of the robot with the help of GPS used on the bot and also helps us to find the exact location of landmines. Literature survey. Asanal Hokal ET. AL first reported a design of a robot that provides the live streaming of the video with the help of a night vision camera. Later Jignesh Patalia ET. AL designed a war robot which had night vision camera and Bluetooth module to control the movement of the bot it was controlled using an Android device. The limitation of their work was the limited frequency range and the communication with the bot was over a short range. Minal S. Good Conchin P. Campbell Riddle Cord ET. AL described a military robot which monitors the environment and provides live video feedback. This model used gyro sensors for the movement of the robot. It uses Bluetooth connectivity for wireless communication with the help of mobile device which make it range limited. Shud Hotchowdery ET. AL designed a robot that was used to serve during the natural calamities like earthquake and cyclones etc. This robot uses a PIR sensors which helps in detecting human beings or animals being trapped inside a place or in a collapsed building. But the major drawback being that the location of the robot wasn't being able to detect. To run Preet Kaur ET. AL proposed a robot which uses solar panel to charge the batteries. This robot was also able to detect any obstacle placed in front of it and brought in the RF technology into robots for transmitting live video. Dr. Sridhar A. Joshi ET. AL developed a robot with speed varying facilities by giving different gears to the robot. This robot was also provided with a gas detection facility. The only drawback of this project was the use of Arduino Uno as their heart of the project. Suvik Saha ET. AL reported a robot that uses Raspberry Pi as the heart of the model. It was used for surveillance and the coding was done using Python on Linux operating system. Proposed circuit design. The model is divided into two different stages A. Hardware connection of the components. Software coding to bind the components for particular task. Hardware design. ARM LPC2148 microcontroller. It is the heart of the model. It is a standalone board which has 12 MHz crystal for for system clock and 32 kHz crystal for RDC. It has multiple serial interface which includes two UARTs where one is connected to the GSM module and the other to the RF module. This microcontroller provides power saving modes when in idle conditions. Since it is a 32 bit microcontroller, it integrates all the sensors and displays them on the LCD display which is connected across the LCD. Just like other microcontrollers, Controller. 
It also supports coding which helps the bot to be used in both automatic mode and manual mode. Obstacle Detection Sensor Ultrasonic sensors are used to detect obstacles in the surroundings. The bot is able to find its own path with integration of the sensors. Ultrasonic sensors work by sending ultrasonic sound waves which are reflected after striking the obstacle. It also helps to determine the distance between the bot and obstacles. It also sends the signal for deviation whenever it encounters an object. Ultrasonic waves travel faster than the audible sounds. Each module consists of an ultrasonic transmitter, receiver, and control CRCUT. Power supply. Two 12 volts 1.3 ampere batteries are been used. Point one of which is connected to the ARM LPC2148 microcontroller, ZogB module 16 asterisk 2 LCD display, and the ultrasonic sensor HCSR04. The other battery is given to the GSM module and for the motors, which helps in the movement of the robot. Another 2 volts battery are been used to provide power supplies for the night vision camera and metal detector. ZigB module. ZigBee modules are used to transmit the data that has been collected by different sensors to the receiver through RF module. It's a low power consumption which uses high level communication protocols. It overcomes the limitations of Bluetooth technology by allowing the data to be transmitted over long distances. GSM GPRS module. This module helps us to establish communication between the robot and the computer which is used to control the movement of the robot when used in manual mode. It helps us to sense the data a high transfer rate. The data collected by the ARM microcontroller is sent to the GSM through UART. It uses HTTP protocol. The modem comes with an interface which helps us to connect to the microcontroller with MAX232. Metal detector. The operation of a metal detector is achieved upon the principle of electromagnetic induction. It consists one or more inductor coils that are used to interact with metallic elements on the ground. The metal detector is connected to a separate battery. Since its main aim is to detect any landmines planted the ground it is placed under the bot. L293D driver IC this IC is responsible for the movement of the robot. To have a complete control over the robot, it combines two techniques namely PWM for controlling the speed and H bridge for controlling the rotation of the direction. It has two input pins one for the internal logic circuit and the other for the H bridge, which helps in driving the motor and has four output pins to which two DC motors are connected. Wireless camera. A night vision audio video camera is used for surveillance of the place all time. A separate battery is used to provide po ear supply to the camera. It uses IR, infrared, light to illuminate images in the dark regions. It is placed at a high altitude in order to capture the image of the image of the surroundings. The AV camera transmits the data which will be received by the AV receiver on the receiver side. Software requirements. Keel software version 4 is used to code the robot when it is functioning in automatic mode as well as manual. Embedded C is the language used for coding the ARM microcontroller. Flash magic is used for dumping the code on the microcontroller. The movement of the robot is controlled by pressing the keys on the keyboard on a hyper terminal, which also tells the presence of any metal piece detected. The working and the control flow of the model is represented using a flowchart shown below. Applications of War Robots War Field Robots gains its advantage due to its all-time surveillance and also because of the different modes available to the user which makes the robot highly appropriate to be used at different places for security purpose. As the name suggests it is mainly used to in war fields in order to reduce the risk of the humans lives at the borders where the tension has always been high. It can be used in airports for detecting any metals placed and also act as a moving surveillance camera to enhance the security of the place. The robot can also be used to check the presence of any terrorist after the attack has been made which may also bring threat to human lives. Results In this paper the movement of the bot is been achieved by using the Keel software and L293D driver module. The robot can be used in both manual and automated mode by pressing on their appropriate buttons. By pressing the corresponding buttons the robot moves in forward, backward, left and right. The robot moves in automated mode once the auto mode button is clicked. In this work the robot is also streaming the live video of the surroundings both during day and night with the help of a night vision AV camera. It consumes low internet data and the videos are transmitted without any delay.
the model is able to detect the metals present on the surface and also able to detect any obstacle placed in front of it using metal detectors and ultrasonic sensors. Conclusion The robot model can be controlled from a far distance and overcomes the limitations of the other robots that uses Bluetooth technology. The wireless night sensor camera is used to live stream the video and can be viewed on the hyper terminal on our devices. The metal detector sensor used in the robot senses the metal components and mines present in the fields. The robot proposed can reduce the loss of the lives on the border areas and also helps in performing patrolling duty and recce any unexplored areas. The GPS trackers equipped on the model helps us locate the landmines by providing the CO ordinates where the mine was planted. Further research can be carried out on the proposed robot to overcome the limitation like the inability of the robot to rove in the water. Also the size and weight of the robot can be minimized by using advanced materials and innovative techniques.